Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Gareth here from tastytutes.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss and demonstrate how you can apply a really easy and non-destructive ring pixel effect to your images in Adobe Photoshop. So what exactly is this? Well, this is a really bold and graphic effect that breaks an image up into ring pixels and applies a particular color to each ring to make the image. Now, this is also done in a non-destructive way. By using this technique, you will be able to apply the effect to any picture without losing your original image. Using this technique, you can simply turn off the effect like so and turn it back on again. It's pretty convenient. Now, before we get started, I'll just show you a few examples here. So this current example is set on a white background and I'm currently looking at this at 40%. So if I zoom in to 100%, we can see that the ring pixels here are rather large and quite clear. If we look at another example, we can see it can also be done on a black background. Looking at another example, on this occasion, we can see that the ring pixel effect is much smaller, which allows for a little more intricate texture and detail. This last example is like the previous, but here we can see the rings are grouped into blocks of square color. So depending on what you want, whether you want a large ring pixel effect or a small ring pixel effect, you can experiment with the size and also the color in the background. So I'll come back to my first example here. Now check this out. If we look closely in the layers panel, we can see that the top layer is called place your image here. And this is a smart object. And we know this because we can see the smart object icon placed on the thumbnail. Now, if I double click this, upon click, we will see a new document tab open at the top here. Now this is the image contained within the smart object in the previous document. So here we can see our original image completely unaffected. So for now, I'll close this tab and I'll do this by using the shortcut command W and I'm back to my ring pixel effect. Now let's say I want this effect to be applied to another image. Let's say this image here. So I'll press command A to select all and then command C to copy. So I'll click back into my ring pixel effect document. I'll double click on the top smart object layer Again, the smart object contents will appear. Now this time, I'll press command V to paste in my new image. Upon pasting, we have a new layer above the original. Now I'll quickly scale this and position it in the canvas area to get something I'm happy with. Once I'm happy, I'll press command W to close and I'll make sure to click save. Upon click, we will go back to the ring pixel effect document and now we can see the effect is applied to our new image. So this document here is basically a ring pixel effect template. This has been set up in such a way I do not have to apply the ring pixel effect to new images. I can simply paste in whatever new image I like into the smart object and I'll apply the effect. So if you would like to take a closer look at this template example and the other ring pixel templates I have created, you can download them for free. The link is in the description. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I created my template so you can have a go yourself. So I'll just close down all my tabs here so I can focus on my new task. So I'm going to begin by creating a new document. I'll press command N to create a new document. Now you can create this to whatever size you like, but I recommend you create a nice large canvas area and it must divide by 50. This goes for width, height and resolution. And you'll see why shortly. So first I'll click on the tab to the right and set this to pixels. I'm going to set my width to 3000, my height to 2000 and my resolution to 300. So all divides by 50 here. Now on this occasion, I'm not going to create this for either print or digital. So I'll just leave the color mode set to RGB. Then I'll click OK. So here we have a nice large landscape canvas area. Perfect. So I'll come and double click on the background layer in the layers panel. I'll rename the layer to place your image here and click OK. Then I'll come back into the layers panel, right click on the layer and select convert to smart object. And now we can see the smart object icon has been applied to the layer. 
So next, I'm going to open the image I wish to apply my ring pixel effect to. With it open, I need to get this into my smart object layer in my document. So on this occasion, I'll press Command A to select all and Command C to copy. I'll press Command W to close this image and I'm back to my work document. So I'll come over into the Layers panel and double click on the new Smart Object layer. With the new Smart Object tab open, I'll press Command V to paste inside. Now, depending on your image size, you may either have to scale up or down. So I'll scale and position my image where I am happy and then I'll press Command W to close. And I'll make sure to click Save. Upon click, we are back to the original document. Okay, so now it's time to apply the ring pixel effect. Now, remember at the start, I insisted that the document size had to divide by 50. Well, now you will find out why. So with the smart object layer selected in the layers panel, I'll come up to filter, scroll down to pixelate and come across and select mosaic. Upon click, up will pop the effect window. Now for this cell size, I'm going to type in 50 and click OK. So upon click, we have applied the mosaic filter. Now this will break the image into square pixels defined by the cell size we just entered. So each square in this canvas is now 50 by 50 pixels. So if we zoom in here, we can also see that the squares fit the canvas area perfectly. Nice. Now if we look closely in the layers panel, we can now see that we have a smart filter applied to the smart object layer. Now, if I click the eye symbol on the smart object filter, we can toggle the effect on and off. So by first creating a smart object layer and applying filters to that smart object, we have achieved non-destructive editing. Perfect. So now we have the mosaic effect. Let's apply the ring pixel effect. Now to do this, we need to create a new document. So I'll press command N to create a new document. Now this time we have to make sure that the width is 50 pixels and the height is 50 pixels and the resolution remains at 300. I'll click OK. So with the new document, like earlier, I'll come and double click in the background layer. I'll call this ring. Next, I'll come over and click the paint bucket tool. I'll make sure that the foreground color is set to black and I'll click into the canvas area to set the square to black, filling the canvas area. Next, I'll come up to the Marquee Tools and select the Circle Marquee Tool. I'll press and hold Alt on the keyboard and I'll scroll with my mouse just to zoom in here. So with the Circle Marquee Tool, I'm going to click from the top left and drag down to the bottom right. What I need to do here is create a perfect circle within the square, touching the outside edge like so. If you do not get this right the first time, be sure to keep trying until you get something that looks like this. Once you have your circle like so, press Command X to cut the pixels out from the black layer. Once they have been cut, press and hold Command plus Shift and V to paste the circle back into the same place as a new layer. With the new circle layer selected, press Command T to activate Free Transform. Next, press and hold Command plus Alt and click and drag in from the top right corner point. This will scale the circle down like so. Now, you want to try and scale it down so you have a nice ring space like so. Once happy, press Enter. Easy. Now, I'll press and hold Alt on the keyboard and scroll with my mouse to zoom out. And now we can see the black square with a circle cut out and a small circle in the middle, creating our ring space. Now, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Now inside the ring space, we can see the gray and white square texture. This is Photoshop telling us that this is transparent. So once you have your ring cut out of the square, come up to the main menu and click edit. Then scroll down to define pattern. Upon click, up will pop the pattern name box. On this occasion, I will name, the, name this to black ring 50px. So this will tell us that this is for the black ring set to 50 pixels and I'll click OK. Now before we do anything else, I'm quickly going to come into the layers panel here and double click on the ring black layer just right of the name and this will pull up the layer styles. I'll come over to color overlay on the left, I'll click this and over on the right, 
I'll click the color box and set this to white and click OK. So now we have set the base layer to white. So next, by pressing Alt on the keyboard, I'll click on the FX icon in the Layers panel on the effect I just created. I'll click and drag it up and release on the circle layer above. Upon release, this will quickly duplicate the layer style and apply it to the circle layer. Perfect. So now we have a white ring cut out. So next I'll come back up to edit, scroll down to define pattern and this time name this to white ring 50px and click OK. So once I have a pattern for both white and black, I'll come back into my Photoshop document I set up previously with the mosaic effect currently applied. This time I'll come over into the layers panel and double click on the place your image here layer just right of the name. Up will pop the layer style. So this time I'm going to click on pattern overlay. Then from pattern options I'm going to choose the white ring pattern I just created and click OK. And just like that we have the ring pixel effect applied. So here we have a combination of a layer style and a filter creating this effect. It's the mosaic effect that breaks the image into solid square pixels of color, and then the pattern overlay which fills in each square pixel of the mosaic to give the ring texture. Pretty simple. So we first created a canvas area to divide by 50, then we created a smart object layer, and inserted our image into the smart object layer, applied the mosaic effect at 50 pixels, created our circle pattern or ring pattern at 50 pixels, and applied the pattern overlay using layer styles. Now I'll come back to the layer and double click to call up the layer styles again. If I click back on pattern overlay and change the white ring to the black ring, we can change the background color. Pretty easy. So that's how you can create a ring pixel effect in Adobe Photoshop. Now if you're wondering, how do I create a smaller ring pixel effect? Well, that can be done quite easily. If we come back to the ring square document we set up earlier, be sure to first save this as 50 pixels. Once saved, come up to image size. On this occasion, I'm going to change the size of this document to 25 by 25 pixels, and I'm gonna keep the resolution set to 300, and click OK. So this may not be 50 pixels this time, but 25 does divide by 50, so this will be just fine. So next I'll come up to edit, define pattern, and call this white ring 25px. Now be sure to create a black version as well if you want to use the black background later. Once saved, I'll come back to the template we just set up. I'll double click on the smart filter mosaic. I'll change this to 25, then double click on the pattern overlay layer style and change the pattern overlay to the new 25 pixels ring white pattern we just created. And just like that, we have a smaller ring pixel effect. So as you can see here, the size of the pattern goes hand in hand with the size of the mosaic effect applied. Now let's look at another example. So this time, I'm going to keep my pattern set to the 25 pixel example, but this time click on the mosaic smart filter. This time I'll set this to 50 pixels. So the pattern is 25 and the mosaic is 50, and I'll click OK. Now this time, we can see something a little different. We still have the ring pixel effect, but the color effect is slightly different. Instead of each ring pixel having its own color, they are now grouped into blocks of four. So to get various color effects, you can experiment with the pattern size and the mosaic filter effect. So that's how you can create a ring pixel effect in a non-destructive way in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. If you liked the tutorial, hit the like button on my Facebook page. If you'd like to see more videos like this in future, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, you can download the templates you saw at the start of this tutorial. All links are in the description. Well, that's it for another video brought to you by tastytutes.com. Thanks for watching. Have fun, guys, and I'll see you next time.